Hello there everyone and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with a Great War mod. I already know what's going to happen for this one because I'd already end the turn and it ended up in a battle and I decided that I'd just show you what happens. So, talking about opening up the road to Rome. Uh, what we have to pass through are these armies right here. Now I could attack because the first army is within range. I don't reach it, but I'm pretty sure they would intercept me and go ahead and fight me. However, I would be fighting the smaller army with the bigger one in reinforcement. That's not, not a super interesting battle. Um, but what is going to happen is, for un the unusual sake, once I enter and they're not going to try to go over this bridge, they're going to go straight attack me. So, Roberto is going to bring his army and attack us right at the bridge here. And then, hopefully, I'll uh, destroy them and have enough troops that I can continue on the short way to Rome and capture Rome. As we can see with our spy planes, there's not a lot of resistance left in Italy down here. They've got a navy, they've got a few other things. I'm sending a one plane all the way to Sicily to check out what they've got there. Obviously they're still gonna have the island there, so I'm, which is kind of, you know, I was hoping that I'd be able to kill off the Italians just so I didn't have to deal with their navy, and then I would only have to deal with the French navy. I do have some I do have ships here, so at some point I'm hoping that I can bring one of my armies to land and of course again destroy that. But in terms of what the Italians are left, they have these. And this is the only thing really, as we can see throughout the entire boot. And then there are these troops right here that are cornered. So we've got one full stack there and one full stack in the actual town and I have two full stacks right here and soon enough Hindenburg's army will be ready after you know he's still recovering from that one mortar group that I out resolved against oh and the British have landed another force they have landed Victor Osborne similar army as the last one it looks like um Yes, with that, there's not much for it. Let's go in and end turn and see the Italians come at us for the second battle of the Zonza River. And there we have it. Just as we saw, the Italians are attacking us. The chance of victory is apparently very slim. I very much doubt it. They do have some strong infantry with the guard battalions. But they won't be able to pass through all my artillery. And that's going to be the key, as uh, always. With that said, let's go ahead and destroy the Italians. The Italians are about to walk straight into our trap. Let's go ahead and tell the artillery to fire at will. So across there, I have my men entrenched. And, uh... Ready to, uh... Shoot down the Italians as they come across. Here we can take a look at the position. So entrenchments... Go in a half circle. Like this. Openings for the artillery. Secondary reserve group in the center, heavy artillery in the back, mountain guns in the front, and then troops on the sides. And the enemy is going to walk straight into this. And it's going to be an absolute massacre. I did go ahead to prepare in case they would get over here. So we've got two obstacles, and we seem to have gotten a horse stuck there, somehow, and one of our Jaegers died, for some reason. Anyways, back to the fighting. 
The Italians are coming across. And as we can see, it's not going too well for them. It's quite the disaster. Now is the time you would have a machine gun because, I mean, at this point, there's no, there's no way a machine gun could miss here, given the amount of. Uh, the Italians are really aggressive for this battle. I'm quite surprised. It's not doing them much good, though. We have a few shots coming back at us. I imagine, though, that most of... Uh, I'm just guessing that I'm going to get... Uh, more of more team kills, as it were, than uh, the enemy killing my troops. Well, they have zeroed in on us with their mortars, so I guess that will be uh, that will actually count for something. Get closer with the general. Might go ahead and inspire. We did have Italian cavalry breaking through here. But only for a short while. Go ahead and inspire that one right there. I mean, even with all this firepower that we put down upon them, the Italians are still coming at us, which is, which is quite impressive. But it ends now. We're sending the reserves as well. Artillery hold fire. All infantry hold fire. And then bayonet charge. We'll crush the Italians now. Get in there. Overrunning them, making sure that it's a complete victory. We have five Italians over there. I'm gonna get the general up there. I can shoot them down. The few troops that were ran through here. Oh yeah, artillery you can blast. Blast the mortar groups instead. No, oh, they're shooting. I was afraid they shot my general there. Their general has been overrun. And these groups have been overrun. And the general just overran this group right here. Mortar shots landing pretty darn close. I'm gonna get my uh, general out of there. Right, get out of there, and set up again. Oh yeah, I forgot, completely forgot about the reinforcements that's gonna come in. The bayonet charge would certainly have looked cool, but... Um, in terms of... Um, Effectiveness. 
I'd say that it would probably have been better not to, uh... Oh shit, you guys are shooting into the back of my own men. Some of these units have lost quite a few soldiers. Right, get back behind the lines. More numeral units. New, uh, whatever you wanted to call it. Needs to be uh, on the front. And then we'll have the ones with lower counts in the back. So like this one, that's 23. This one's 80. That one can actually take the place of this one. We'll go back to our original positions. Focus in on that one, and then the heavy artillery on the light mortar over there. With this, I, th I mean... There's no way the Italian's gonna break through even with that reinforcements they're getting right now. There's no way they're gonna break through. I kinda, with that bayonet charge though, made it a little bit harder for me to go ahead and take Rome. The thing is though, when you take Milan, Milan also holds, like, territory all the way almost down to Rome. So we will be able to replenish as we go down maybe not as much as one would have wanted but still quite a lot at this point I definitely call it a victory for my side here's the result of that battle I actually lost almost half my force with 900 men lost um, the enemy managed to only kill 790, so yeah, it wasn't that bad for them as I thought. However, we managed to destroy more or less their entire army. 4,000 men lost 3,300, uh, 3, leaving only about 700 men left. Uh, Alpencore is the one that killed the most, followed by the siege guns. However, the siege guns, of course, were firing into the water early on, and there were also mostly targeting mortars very early on in the battle. Uh, but there we have that, and as I said... Oh, there we go. We've got a reconnaissance plane in Brandenburg. We've got another one in France. Train gain for uh, Crown Prince of Bavaria. So yeah, as I said, as you can see, the territory of Northern Italy of Milan actually stretches all the way down here to Rome. So even though I probably should have... Oh, you know what? That's only infantry. That should be a pretty easy outro assault then without any problem. Yeah, only 149. So I'll be able to replenish quite a few troops as it will take me three turns to get to Rome. Now that will, of course, allow them to bring in troops to reinforce the area. But I should have quite an easy time just to break through. Right, stuff built in France. Do, do, do. I think one more turn, so then they're fully recovered. Same for this one. Also, can I... I can build tanks here, but I can't build the... The um, the machine guns, the uh, late machine guns. Oh, I need. I think I need the next level of um, yeah, next level of barrack to go at it. And the thing is, I also don't want to attack right now because currently we can't actually see where the second army is. So it's hiding. So that would be an ambush battle. That would be pretty uh, bad. Oh yeah, Prince of Prussia is set to attack with the navy through here. We'll just make sure that we know what's going on. So we'll send aircraft as close as we can and 
yeah, we do have another aircraft over here. And I do have one over here. I'll send it here. Can I see a bit further? It's enough that I can see what the Navy here. And there's no way I'm going to be able to fight that. But I will be able to land on this side. I do wish... I had like a little destroyer just so I can land an aircraft. Actually, the best thing would be to land a little aircraft here. So I can see both islands with just one. I'm not entirely sure why I moved this one into Spain. The Spanish have quite a few forces. And they've upgraded this place pretty darn well. Chemical Weapons Laboratory. British didn't move since they landed. Oh, luckily the... Damn. It happens sometimes. I'm not entirely sure where the sound comes from. Um, what I'll do here is I'll just replace... All I don't need to replace one of the guns. I just leave... A unit of infantry behind, and then I bring in the railgun. And so this army, on the one below, will now go and deal with. Go and deal with um, the. Um, the British. Go ahead and remove that. Then we have the reserves to take position in Paris after they left. And then I've got this army right here. Lots of cannons. What they're waiting, of course, on the tanks, and then we'll try to replace them or move them to a way where I can send in the attack on Scotland. Also, note that this right here. Not entirely sure what Denmark is doing, but looks like they're trying to do some kind of naval invasion somewhere, and I have no idea where they're intending to land with this force. Would be, I mean, if they attack me, they do have a force here, but it's going to take way too long for them to actually get in. I'll have plenty of time to recruit an army if they attack, and then I'll just slip my army across with the, with the navy and land on their main island and take them out. So I'm not entirely sure what they're doing there. August von Mackensen was able to take out the army down here. He should now return to attack here and at this point this one I would say has enough replenishment so I'm gonna start moving that and we're gonna join the attack over here we've got tanks being built what I need here is I would need some um, reservists we'll send these three up to deal with the enemy and that looks nice. Uh, what else do I have? I have started. I mean, some of the navies have come out here. Have been able. I've been able to build. But the thing is, like, I don't know where we have a possibility of actually attacking the enemy because most areas. Well, what I really have is I have, let's see, this port, I have two ships. It's pre-Dreadnought, so they have not have the range of the others. And Armored Cruiser. This force is a lot smaller because it's got uh, just one of these. Oh, it's Dreadnought Battleship. But then it comes an Armored Cruiser here. If I had something to outrange them with. The thing is, attacking now is kind of foolish. What I should do is I should wait. What I should do is I should wait until we have a few more ships. And then I could definitely attack and take that navy out. I want to see what the British have. Let's take the reconnaissance aircraft. Take a look at what they have. So they have more marines this time. No Indians. But not anything super impressive. Um, 
Yeah, let's go ahead and end turn once more. And see if there's any other movements on the front. End of turn, we've got an aircraft detected. New general available. Technological advances. Voting rights for women. Synthetic materials, next up submachine gun. That'll be cool. Lithuania gets troops. And we've got a port. And some towns being built. The British are on the move. Seems like they attack the same place all the time. I might station this army there instead of Paris. Given how they intend to attack that area constantly. There's a small force of British ships. Could I possibly... If I take these two and add these, that would make it a fleet of five ships. It's pre-drawn <laughs> dreadnought battleships, though. And there are four, like four of them, so I would only have two and then three destroyers. So I would only outnumber them by one ship, yeah. It's better to wait, especially the time it takes to build the ships. Given, I mean, forcing my way through here, killing the Russian Navy just to take Finland isn't that much of a deal right now. It might be better to relocate and try to clear the channel, or in, ca in case, at least clear a bit of this. So it makes it easier for me if I'm going to jump up to uh, Scotland. And then also, I think, oh, there's an enemy aircraft. I should, I've seen a lot of British Navy ships kind of move along the coast, but I haven't actually seen where they end up. Like, I should just, I have so many aircraft, I could just spam them all across Great Britain, see if I can find out where they have, um, where they have all their ships. And then we head over to Russia. Got the reservists going that way, the army going this way. Both join up, ready to attack here. It looks like we're late October now. So it looks like we're going to have to hunker down because winter is coming. And we won't really be able to make them any moves. The Russians are bringing in quite the forces here. I mean, it's a lot split up. They bring Polish. No, it's a Czechoslovakian. A lot of different troops here. It's going to be interesting to see. Well, there's a full stack as well. They might be uh, sending that one down there and then against the uh, Austro-Hungarians again. It's going to be interesting. Let's see. We're closing in on the Italians. Two turns. They're bringing in qu quite a few troops now, but... Not nearly what they would uh, need to actually uh, stop me from taking their capital. At the same time, these guys should be ready now. More or less. But I want my aircrafts to find where that second army is. I don't want to walk into an ambush. That would be bad. At the same time, you're kind of ready, although I would need more cannons and stuff for you, which I'm already recruiting. Tank, we've got the female tank with machine guns, we've got railgun, and we've got uh, chlorine gas being deployed. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be, I mean, it's going to be a bit weird if we take a railgun with us to the island, but I could, I guess you could say that we brought the railgun up to here. I don't know the distance. Could it fire that far? I don't know. That might be too far to even imagine. Uh, but it, it's a really big nave gun we've built in in Italy. Right. Uh, there's not much for this. When I come back for the next one, it might have. I might have gone as far 
has gone through the winter because we're gonna have to stop most armies from moving but there might be a battle of Rome or I'll wait to show the sort of resurgence when they rebel against it and the two full stacks will spawn see what interesting fight we can have but yeah there's not much move and I don't see a battle coming up r soon enough that uh, we'll be able to put it in the video so with that said I'll say as I always say hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one bye Siamo a portata di fucile, signore!